Hello, I'm Jonathan McKendry, and uh, this is how I came to know Christ. Uh, so when I was younger, uh, I grew up in the church, and I was actually quite fortunate uh, and blessed with a great family who uh, just raised me in the church. I grew up believing that Jesus existed. That was never really in question for me. Although as I started to get older, uh, entered school, I, I started kind of realizing and questioning, you know, what does it mean to be saved? What does it mean to have a Lord? Those are all pretty big terms to me. I, I didn't know what that meant. I just knew that Jesus existed and that he loved me. And I remember every night I would get on my bed and I, I would just pray, God, I love you. Please come into my life and save me. And I would pray that every single night right before I went to bed. Uh, and thinking back, you know, I was, I was this little kid and I, I, I really did love Christ, but I, I didn't understand what it meant to be in this relationship and have him be my savior. And I, I remember one night I was praying, doing the same old routine, and I remember like a, like a light switch just flipping. It's like I, I realized this is what I'm actually praying. This is what I'm genuinely asking. And I remember getting up and uh, this is a Saturday night. I went to my dad, uh, who was doing something very typical for him on a Saturday night, uh, studying scripture, uh, preparing a lesson plan for Sunday school. And I remember going in there and saying, Dad, uh, what does it mean to be saved? And I remember saying, I, I, I want to be saved. I want Jesus to be in my life. I want to I wanna know Christ. And, and ever since that night, I remember my life just being profoundly impacted. I mean, the entire direction of my life, who I became, who I am now, it, it all stemmed from that one night. I remember praying and uh, he took me into the other room with my mom and we just prayed and I prayed to accept Christ into my life. Uh, I remember at that point, my dad looked at me and said, so as a believer, we're called to baptism. And he was like, it might be a little scary, but it is what we're called to do is that something that you you want to go ahead and follow in obedience. And I remember thinking, yeah, I, I want to tell the whole world about what happened tonight. Uh, and so I, I followed through with baptism, uh, and I just remember going to class and telling everyone. I told my teacher, I told my friends, I said, man, I got saved by Jesus. I, he is my Lord. He is my Savior. Uh, and I, I wanted to tell everyone. And uh, ever since then, it's really just been my life's goal. And I remember years later as I uh, entered middle school, uh, even high school, I, I started to face doubts. I started to think, you know, I was a little kid. Did, did I really know what I was praying? Did I really know what I was asking? And, and of course, I, I dealt with those doubts and the struggles. Uh, but I remember just, just learning and, and crying out like, Lord, do I know you? And the Lord just intervened and said, of course you know me. Uh, and what I learned is that, yes, I had accepted Christ in my life. I was a born again believer, but it was time for me to truly step up and devote myself, devote, devote myself to scripture, devote myself to prayer, devote myself to living like Christ and living in that relationship. Uh, and so that's what I did. And as I followed through with that, now no longer being in elementary school, I was in middle school and in high school. I was around people with actual opinions and of course not everyone hated Christians, but there were plenty of people that didn't have nice things to say. I remember dealing with these anxieties and these fears like, okay, maybe I need to take a step back. I know that I'm a Christian, but maybe I shouldn't be so, you know, I shouldn't flaunt it everywhere. Uh, and I started dealing with those fears and anxieties. How does the world view me? As I started to feel that way, and I, I started to just get weighed down by the weight of the world and by what the world expected of me, I remember Christ just intervening again and saying, it does not matter how the world views me. It does not matter uh, what people might think. What matters is my relationship. From then again, it was like Christ had just kind of picked me back up, flipped that switch right back on and said, devote yourself. Uh, and so from there, I, I devoted myself. Uh, and even to this day, of course, I, I need those reminders. Sometimes Christ has to step in, uh, intervene, flip on that light switch again and say, hey, it does not matter what other people are gonna think or say. What matters is the relationship that I have with the Lord. And so just like 
when I was a, a little first grader, a, a kindergartner, saying, I want to tell the world about what Christ did. Uh, here I am today, and I want to tell the world what Christ did in my life. Before Christ, I had nothing. I, I didn't know where I was going. Uh, and because of Christ, I, I may not know where I'm going, but I'm okay with that because I know who I am. And, and I know that one day, in, in the end, I do know where I'm going. I, I know where I'll end up. And Christ has just changed my life. My name is Jonathan McKendry, and Jesus is my Lord.